Big Boy's Neighborhood. All righty now, man, I'm going to introduce you to someone that you may know the story, but there's a lot of people that don't know him, and that is Jack Rico. Jack Rico is 13 years of age, just graduated from college with four degrees. All righty now, Jack, welcome to the neighborhood, bro. Thank you. <laughs> man, Jack, all righty. And Jack mother, Jack's mother, Rue, she is, she is with us as well. Rue, first off, as a parent, all righty, did you know, first, do Jack have any brothers and sisters? He does. He has an older sister. All righty. And how old is she? She's 15. Okay, she's 15. All righty. And how is she doing in school? She's good. She's... Um... All righty. <laughs> and I don't want to make this a competition thing. <laughs> Um, when did she graduate from high school? And uh, she's class, what, 20, 22, or 23? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All righty. So then we have Jack. Jack is 11. Jack just graduated from Fullerton College. AA is in history, social science, social behavior, arts, and human expression. For one, a lot of these classes, I don't even know what the hell they are. I'm going to tell you the truth. Um, Rue, as a parent, when did you first start seeing that Jack was different, gifted, smart. I don't know what we would call Jack. You know what I'm saying? When did you start to see it? It was actually right before his fourth birthday. Um, I asked him what he wanted for his birthday, and he said to see the White House. And I said, well, that's a really big trip for a four-year-old, three-year-old. I said, so I'll take you if you can learn all the presidents. I was totally kidding. And a week later, he came to me, and he said, Mom, I, I have to tell you something. I already knew the presidents, but I learned the vice presidents. Does that still count? <laughs> <laughs> no. So I knew then that oh no, he's probably already smart. So at three or four, he already knew all the presidents. Yeah. So he went back and knew the vice got got all the vice presidents. Yeah. So that got, is amazing. Now, as a parent, are you happy? Are you elated? Or are you kind of scared? Uh, you know what? He's just been a joy from the beginning. Yeah. So you know, we are just going along with it, and it's just been exciting. It's just how was he going through the grades though? For him to be 13 years of age and graduated from college. Take me through like the grades that he was either skipping or how did that go? Yeah. So he was, he hates me telling this story, but he was actually failing third grade language arts. Wow. Same, and, same. Yeah, <laughs> right. Me too. Mm -hmm. And I just knew he was, uh, you know, uh, something was holding him back. And so that's when we decided to homeschool. Um, right. and so for him, um, it worked out um, pretty well. And he just was able to not have any limits. Uh, was he failing because he was too advanced or was he failing out of like peer pressure, not being the, not being, not wanting to be smarter than? Well, you know, uh, in third grade, Common Core was just introduced. So if you had it from kindergarten, you're okay. But when it was just thrown on them in third grade, he was struggling with that um, a little bit because it was a different learning style. Um, and so the school was great. The teachers were great. They were doing their best. Um, but for him, he just... Um, he needed a, 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 to be tuned a little bit different. And so, yeah. yeah, that's. And so he, he starts homeschooling and then how, what's that process? He's just going through grades. Well, yeah. I mean, we first, we just started out on his interest area, which was history. Um, and then he just started to just kind of be, go through the standards so quickly um, that by 11, I knew he needed a better teacher than me and, and more of a challenge. Right. Yeah, yeah. My kids right now, once they hit like um, third grade, that's when I was like, I can't help you with your homework right, anymore. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm paying for school. What are the teachers teaching you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, then I don't have to do the fake parent thing. Like, go look it up. You know, I can't give you all the answers. It's because dad didn't know the answers, you know? So let me ask you this, Jack. Now, when you started to attend college, were you, were you ready for, like, the college courses? Like, did you take that on? Like, it was a challenge for you? Like, you really wanted to do that? Well, going in, I didn't really know what to expect. Like, I just, like, I, like, I didn't really know, like, what was going to happen. Like, I didn't really prepare for it. I just knew I didn't know what I was walking into. But as soon as the first couple of weeks started going, I really picked up the pace. And I was really able to get the handle on going through these <laughs> That is a lot of homework, a lot of writing, a lot of a lot of reading, and not only to get one degree, you got 
four degrees. I sit here with you today. I do not have one degree. Don't judge me, Jack. You know, but, but what about your friends? Now, aside from going to school, reading, loving history, getting four degrees, what does Jack do just, just as the so-called 13-year-old Jack? Um, I, well, I, I really like video games. Right. So you do play video games. What's your, what's your game that you play? Um, I like to play a lot of online games like Roblox and like Minecraft. Like, yeah. Just a lot. yeah. Okay. And, and mommy, mommy and daddy, they, they let you play the games? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That's good. Now, what, what about your friends? Do you, do you have friends that, that you kind of like, well, we're in a pandemic and hanging out. You can't really hang out. Did, did you have a lot of friends that you hang out with as well? Um, not really. Like, my, my like best friends are my cousins and right. we really get along and we like to text each other and keep in touch. So it's really awesome to just talk with them or even play with them. Now, when they, when your cousins, when they send you a text, do you look at the text and do you correct the text or you just look at it? I just look at it. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So let me ask you this. And this is to mommy as well. Four degrees. What was the challenge as far as like, was it one at a time? Did you get two degrees? Like, or did he get all four at the same time? Well, I didn't, you know, asking him at 11 to declare a major was really a lot. So I wanted to make sure that he took classes that would count in multiple categories in case he changed his mind. So they were all done simultaneously. Um, they just happened, the classes he took happened to fall into four separate categories. Um, so he didn't take any more classes um, than other students. He just took the right, or the classes that would fall um, cover the most categories. So, so is there a what do you want to be when you grow up? Answer, Jack. Like I'm 13, so I'm still trying to figure out this whole life thing. Like I'm still trying to figure out yeah. what I'm interested in. You know, yeah, like, man. I'm right now. So just and stay and, and stay. Just keep focusing on you and focusing on your education. Don't don't start with these girls, man. You know what I'm saying? Take your time. Girls are only going to be a distraction. Do what you got to do. All they want you for is your degrees. You know what I'm saying? They just want to talk to you because you're in the neighborhood. You're a nice little handsome guy. Take your time. Don't throw your life away right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you want to do next? Like, you got the four degrees. What? So you're talking about UNLV now? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be transferring to UNLV um, this summer. I'm going to be taking... So school. what does that mean? Like, he's transferring to UNLV. Does that mean that you're actually... Are you doing college online courses or, or are you moving to Vegas? Well, we have to stay in California. His sister is um, in a music school here and she's in a band, so we can't leave. Ah, I love it. So his classes will be on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we will drive uh, Sunday night to Vegas and come back on every Wednesday. <laughs> and why UNLV uh, for the school that you want to attend, the university, Jack? Um, like we had gone to the orientation there and it was just like, as soon as I walked on campus, I knew that was the school I wanted to go to. It was a really enjoyable experience and like, I just knew this was the school I wanted to go to and study at. Did you go to any other campuses to, for a visit? Yeah, that was our first, no, one. That was our first <laughs> that was our one. first one and he said, this is it. So you're, you'll leave Sunday nights, drive up to Vegas, and he'll attend Vegas school at UNLV Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you'll drive back home. Yeah. And are, so you're, so you're going to walk around the campus. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Now, what about at Fullerton, at, at Fullerton College? Were you on campus then, too? Yeah, I was on campus. If my class was... Rue, had I heard his story before? Uh, did, 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 did he get any news coverage when he first started at, at Fullerton? No, just yesterday or two days ago was the first. Um, I think his grandma sent it out to a news station. And so. Um... <laughs> Dude, I went to my son. My son is 13 years of age. And I thought my son was like smart. And he is. You know what I'm saying? But I took him like the online stuff and i told him i said Jaden, i said look at jack man what's going on here i'm like dude you are four degrees behind you better hurry up you know what i'm saying like you better hurry up the jack i just i had to meet you i wanted to say hello to you man first off 
congratulations on your four degrees. And I know you have so many things that's coming. What's going to be, what, what, what's the major at UNLV? Uh, I'm still sticking to history as a major. I'm still exploring like different things to study and like different things I might want to pursue as a job. But um, right now it's just history right now. And all history, U.S. history or world history, like just history period? Um, mostly U.S. history, but yeah. Just and, and can you still name all 50 presidents? Uh, yeah, but like I like to play as like a little song so I can name all their last names in order. Really? Okay. Well, let, let's let's do that together. You ready? <laughs> okay, we do it together. <laughs> I, we're gonna do it together. You ready? Um. So, do you sing the song? In, do you sing the the song in order, or you just kind of sing it out of order? Like I, I sing it in order. Okay, let's sing it in order. All righty. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. George Washington. John Adams. Yeah. Like the main. Song. Keep going. Keep going. Song. I'm with you. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adam, Jefferson, Jackson, Ben Jaren, Harrison, Tyler, Pope, Taylor, Fimo, Pierce, Buchanan, Lincoln, Johnson, Grant, Hayes, Garfield, Arthur, Cleveland, Harrison, Cleveland, McKinley, Roosevelt, Taft, Wilson, Hardy, Coolidge, Peter, Roosevelt, Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Obama, Trump. Damn. Yeah, I heard the uh, the uh, George Bush, Clinton. I knew those. George. I knew the Bush. I knew. Um, uh, Clinton, I knew. You know, I could have. If you would have stopped, you stick. You kept going. I was gonna finish it off, but you you were showing off, and, and you finished them all. Do you know all of the Jackson Five? Um, not the presidents. I'm talking about the singing group. Had a, a whole unit on. Oh, well, in homeschool, I had like a whole unit on like battles and like the Civil War. And my mom always told me like, if you're gonna know about these battles, you must know about the battle between Tupac and Biggie. <laughs> See, there it is right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, and if not, I can teach you all that. And then the Jackson Five are uh, Jermaine, Jackie, Tito, Marlon, and Michael. Those are the originals. Then Randy came in. You, we, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. You got your list. I got mine. Um, I want to thank you so much for giving us your time, man. Time is precious, Jack, and I thank you, man. And once again, congratulations, bro. And you are doing such a great job. And it is my pleasure to speak with you and no telling who I'm speaking to when I say, man, in the future, I'll say I had a chance to speak to that guy when he was 13 years of age and look at him now, you know, and Rue, thank you so much for letting us have an opportunity to speak to your son. And I appreciate it. Thank you so All much. Right? We really yeah. appreciate it. It is my pleasure. So hold on for a second. Um, I'm going to sign off. Then I'm going to give you my number so he can tutor us as a family. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much. Y'all stick around. Y'all radios, Big Boys Neighborhood.